This is Mama Roxy again. I'm coming back at you again with a third video today, right? And the reason I'm coming back at you again with the third video today is because I was just on my Facebook and I had a young lady ask me a question. And uh, she says, Mama Roxy, I have a question for you. And I said, please go ahead and ask me. She said she had been with her guy for about five or six years now. And he seemed like he losing interest. And she wanted to know what it is that she could do for him to make him give back that little love or to feel the way they used to feel. So I asked her, I say, well, do you love him? She said, yes, Mama Roxy, I really love him with all my heart. So then I asked, I say, well, do you love yourself? She said, yes. I say, so what would you do for you? You know, what What would you do to get your love back? And she got to think. She said, well, I never thought about it like that. I say, well, listen to this. I say, if it was me, I would give him something that he ain't been having in a while. A nice home-cooked meal, baby. Put them kids to bed early. Go in there and make a, the bedroom look nice and smell good. That's number one. No, number one is to put the kids to bed early. Number two is to make the bedroom smell good. Had a house looking nice. Then number two, go cook something real amazing. Get y'all some little paper plates or something and have a picnic in bed with a little candle light and a little glass of uh, cheap champagne or champagne or a glass of wine, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is your money can afford, you know? Then after that... You go and you run him some bath water. Y'all two take a bath together. A bubble bath, a nice shower together. Get a little baby oil and heat it up real, not not real, real hot. And you give him, honey, the best massage you can give him. You give him things that you hadn't been giving him in a while. And every day you come home, he comes home, you make it a little bit more interesting for him. Do things you haven't done for him in a while. Pamper him a little bit and he'll start pampering you. Talk to him, caress him, you know, send him little nice little texts if you know what I mean. You know, uh, that and have date night. Where is no arguing, no fussing, no none of that. Or chasing the kids around like crazy. I know that's easily said and done. But remember, Mama Roxy has four kids, of four grown kids of her own. And four grandbabies as well. So I'm trying to tell you. Actually, I got seven. But anyway, that's another story. But I'm telling you, you put forth that little effort. And they're giving him things that he ain't had in a long, long time. You going to get it back. You just have to put forth that effort and mean it. Honey, do your nails, baby. Lay that hair down and do whatever it is. Make sure you smell good. Put on a little something sexy. Something that you haven't done in a long time. You have to show him that... He means the world to you. Everybody go through their little trials and tribulations, baby. All couples argue. Everybody's not perfect. But when you put forth that little effort and you show him a little side of you that he ain't seen in a long time, that's what he missed. That's why he kept you for so long. Because all the things you used to do. Don't forget what you used to do to keep him. Still continue to do the same thing. That's what I do. That's what I'm going to continue to do as long as I can. You know, you have to satisfy him and he'll satisfy you. Get that little urge of excitement back in there. You know, uh, whisper a little something in his ear. Tell him, you know, when he playing the game. Touch him real nicely. Come in there and smell so good, honey. He couldn't be able to resist how you smell. But most of all... You had to get him in here.
right here. And when you get them here, it's going to work right here. But you have to show them that you're interested. You have to show them that, hey, I'm sexy too, baby. And you got to show them that he, he's special to you. Even though you didn't had him for a while, treat him like you just got him and he brand new. You know, keep it like that. Don't let it slack down once you get him back to the way you want him. Keep him that way. So that way won't nobody else be able to come in and get what you got. Because believe me, what you don't do, somebody else will. So put forth that little energy that it is to think. Put forth and remember what he used to like. Do that and a little bit more to keep him excited. To keep him wanting to come home at night. You know what I mean? Girl, make it happy. A happy wife is a happy life, you know? Same thing for a girlfriend. A happy a happy girlfriend or a happy woman is still a happy life. <laughs> you got to trust and believe in me. I've been here for a long time. 48 years, baby. And I don't have, I never had a problem with getting a man. It's getting rid of his ass when he act up. Because he know I'm a good woman. And that's how you got to let him know too. You got to let him know that you are just as good as you was the first day that he met you. And the same thing that he, you did to get him in is the same thing you got to do to keep him. You just got to get a little bit more advanced. Get a little bit better at it. Whatever it is that you did, honey, and whatever it is that you do, get better. It's always a new trick. It's always a new something. But you remember one thing. Good communication is everything. Ask him. You don't even got to ask him. You know what he like. You've been with him long enough. I go for all of you. You know what it is. You ain't got to worry about another woman coming in and stepping on your grounds. When you know exactly what you got and you know exactly what you got to do to keep him. Or to keep her. Whatever the case may be. Just don't forget about you. Forget about how sex. Don't forget about how sexy you are. How good you can smell. How pretty you can make that face up and do your hair. It's about you too. Don't forget about you. All that is all rolled all in, all into one. And just enjoy him. Enjoy her. Enjoy yourself. Go that little extra yard. Don't think that, oh, I got a job and I got all these kids. Do you want it? Do you want to be happy? Do you want to live life? Do you want to enjoy every moment, lay with him, talk with him, mess with him, and love him? Then you go to the extra yard, baby. You ain't got to act no fool. All you got to do is just show him what he got. And when he know what he got, he ain't going nowhere. Trust and believe me. That's all you got to do is just trust and believe me. If there's anything else you want to know, just ask me. And I will, will give you an answer. Remember, Mama Roxy is here for your wallet, your pocketbook, and your purses. You feel me? So don't, don't worry about it. And your hearts. I didn't forget. So just trust and believe me. Ask me whatever you like. I'm going to come up with an answer. And if I haven't been through it already, honey, I know somebody who has. So I love y'all and good night. Kisses, everybody. Be happy because I know I am. <laughs> bye bye, baby. No matter how old you are, it's all on how you feel about yourself.